Let's talk now about how to name uh, substituents in a systematic way. There are common names and IOPAC names for substituents. So I'm going to draw something like that for, say, our parent chain, any number um, of atoms. And so something like that attached to the parent chain, we say is a metal, right, is one carbon. If we have this too, then that's an ethyl. Ethyl here. And now I have three, that's a propyl. Now, but I can have this. In this situation, it actually has one, two, three carbons. So it is a propyl, but it's different to that. So this situation has a common name, and it is isopropyl. And now we're going to name it also systematically. But let's draw something, uh, some more. One, two, three, four. That would be butyl. One, two, three, four, right? And I'm just going to highlight that carbon. So butyl. But I can write something else. I could do one, two, three, and four. That also has four carbon. It's a different type of butyl. And so, and that's called, in common names, that's common name. There is a common name for that, and that is segbutyl. Or we also say s-butyl. And yet we have another, say, shape. One, two, three, and four. This one is isobutyl. Notice that um, here, the shape of this, like that, is what I'm calling the ISO, right? Here, this one um, is a different ramification, and this is a straight, that's a straight. So those um, who have ramification, they also have, of course, uh, IOPAC names. So remember that IOPAC stands for International Union of Pure and applied chemistry. And we're going to do the system to name those similar to what we did for the main compounds. So we're going to be looking for parent chain first, but in the substituent. We're just learning how to name systematically the substituent. So here is uh, what we're going to do. The atom, um, this one, don't have any problem because this is just a continuous line, no ramification. I'm talking about the branched ones. This one, we're going to identify the longest chain, but we're going to assign the number one to the carbon that is directly attached to the parent chain. That's my parent chain, right? And then we're going to go one, two. So that's one chain of two carbons. This is going to be named as the substituent. Again, for the isopropyl, we're going to see this is carbon 1 directly attached to the parent chain. And I'm going to say because it has two carbons, it is an ethyl, but it has a metal substituent attached to carbon 1. So this is one metal, one metal ethyl, so ethyl is this too in this, in the box, is my substituent. So now let's move on to this one. This one we said doesn't have any branching, so it's just beautiful. But this one with branching, and I'm gonna just um, just get one of the names are here, so that we have more room. All right, that's beautiful enough. So that remember those are common names. We're doing here a pack name. So what is the step? Now we need to identify. The atom, like with it here, that is directly attached to the parent chain, and this is it. Next step is identifying the parent chain to give the main name to the substituent. And I say, okay, one, two, three. So it is as identifying those that I might say is propyl, but this propyl has a metal substituent at carbon one. So the name of this all together is one metal, one metal propyl. 
that's a whole substituent. And notice that I have used uh, the YL here and also the YL here. So YL is your termination when you're doing substituents. And this here in one metal ethyl is like the substituent to the substituent. Same here. So we have YL, YL. Last, we're going to do the last one here. One, I identified carbon number one as a carbon directly attached to the print chain. And I say one, two, three. And notice it is the same to say one, two, three over here. Same thing. Now, next step, that, um, well, first, let's write the um, parent chain. One, two, three. So I say this is propyl. And now I see that I have a substituent attached a carbon two, right? So and that substituent is a metal. So I'm going to say two metal, two metal propyl. And again, YL here, YL here. So this is how we do the systematic naming of branches, substituents. They have common names, which are this one, isopropyl, sacbutyl, isobutyl, and this ones that we just said are the systematic names.